Hey folks, Joe Zim here. In this video, we'll be looking at how to debug a website from Android Chrome using a Windows PC and Desktop Chrome's developer tools. Before we can do any debugging, we need to set up our computer to be able to recognize our Android device and allow Chrome's developer tools to recognize and hook into the phone. We'll start by setting some options on the phone. On our Android device, open up Settings. We need to get to the Developer Options menu. If you've already enabled Developer Options, or you're on Android 4.1 or lower, the menu will be available near the bottom of the list of settings. On Android 8 Plus, we'll need to first go into the System menu before continuing to Developer Options. If Developer Options isn't enabled already, we'll need to go to the About Phone menu which is once again under the system menu on Android 8 Plus. Once we're in there, scroll to the bottom and tap on build number seven times. Now go back to the previous screen and developer options will be near about phone. Here we may need to enable developer tools by clicking the toggle at the top of the page. When that's enabled, scroll down a bit and enable USB debugging as well. Let's move on to the PC. The first thing we'll need to do is install the USB drivers for your phone. You can go to the URL on the screen for a list of places to find the drivers. Or you can just search for the drivers on the internet. I won't be showing how to install the drivers because the instructions vary greatly between manufacturers. Once we've got the driver installed, we'll also need ADB, which provides an interface for our PC to control our mobile device. The best place to get this is at the URL on the screen. Scroll down to the Downloads heading and choose the first link. Then click on click here to start download and choose the mirror you'd like to download from. After it's downloaded, run it to install ADB. Once it's installed, navigate to the folder where it's installed, which by default is Program Files x86 and Minimal ADB and Fastboot. Then we can double click on Command here to conveniently open up a command prompt window in this folder. From here, we're going to type in ADB start server, and that will start our ADB server for us. Now we can close the command prompt. The ADB server will need to be on anytime we wish to debug. If you restart your computer, the server will no longer be running. If you want the server to start up automatically with your computer, instead of having to follow the instructions I just showed you to start it up manually, go to your startup folder. Any file on this folder will be executed when your computer starts up. So let's create a new file here and name it adb.bat. You can name it whatever you want as long as it has the .bat extension. Now open it up and do a text editor and paste the following code in and save it. Now that file will be executed at startup and the adb server should be already running anytime we need it. The last thing we need to do to set up the computer is to enable remote debugging in the Chrome Developer Tools. So go ahead and open up the Dev Tools. Now we'll go into the menu, go to More Tools, Remote Devices, and make sure that Discover USB Devices is checked. We'll need this section of the Developer Tools again soon, so keep it open. Now all we need to do is connect the devices together and let them talk. If you haven't already, plug your phone into your PC via USB. If you didn't do this as part of the driver installation, you may see a notification on your taskbar letting you know your computer is setting up your new device. Make sure your phone is on and unlocked. If it is and the ADB server is running, you should see a pop-up titled, Allow USB Debugging. If it doesn't show up, look in your notification area on your Android device. If there's a notification that says connected as a media device or something similar, click on it. That should bring you to a screen that allows you to choose camera PTP as a connection type, rather than media device MTP. Once you've selected PTP, the uh, allow USB debugging pop-up should be there. If you'd like to avoid having to deal with this pop-up every time you hook up your device, check the always allow that from this computer option. Either way, you'll want to click OK which will let your mobile device be visible to your PC for debugging. At this point, look back at your PC 
and the remote devices section of your Chrome Developer Tools on your PC again. If everything went well, you should see your phone listed on the left side. Now we can actually start debugging. Click on the name of your phone. You'll see a list of tabs open in the Chrome browser on your remote device. If you want to debug a certain tab, it needs to be the active tab in the browser. If it isn't, click the three dots next to the tab's name and click focus to make it the active tab. Then click the inspect button. This should bring up the inspector for that tab. From here, we can use Chrome's developer tools pretty much just like we would if we were debugging a web page loaded into our desktop browser. We're even able to see our device's screen within the developer tools. You can toggle it on and off with this button. This is more than just a projection of the phone's screen. We can also use it to control the phone. You can click the tap, click and drag to swipe and scroll, or you can use your scroll wheel to scroll. If you hold shift while dragging up, you can zoom in, and hold shift while dragging down to zoom out, assuming the website you have allows zooming. Now the screencast uses a lot of the phone's processing power though, so you may want to turn it off if you're trying to measure any type of performance. And that's all we've got. We can now debug our mobile website like champs. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to see more content like this and like the video to help this channel grow. God bless and happy coding.